Okay, so we're just going to skip uh, the arsenal for now and just head for Bullhead Court. Because, well, there's nothing I can do to upgrade my shield. That's the Bullhead Court. Folks defended themselves there with shields, not words. I don't know, is that smarter or not? Alright, let's head there. And hopefully I can do this. This one, I, I've gotten pretty the good at. The always got a fair shake in Ceylandia. Some used to take the bullhead trial. For whatever reason, this one's giving me trouble. Let's go ahead and get it started. You can do, take a maximum of three hits this one. You don't have to be perfect. Just gotta be careful. You have to plan. And a lot of that planning is due to the randomness of the game. Things will not always spawn in the same spot this time. The gas fellas, they will shake. As, sh as soon as they shake, that's when you press the button. These guys, it's pretty standard how you do it. I don't think I need to explain these guys. They fire the thing, you counter it as soon as it's on you, and then you're good. These guys, these little ones, they take forever. You'll always, your tendency will be to, to be early with these guys. You want to wait. You want to wait. These ones, they fire multiple rounds. You want to be close to them to prevent them from doing that. This guy's fast. It's almost as soon as he's up, he's going to be... He's going to be attacking. These guys, because they fire multiple rounds, when there's two of them, you have to be very careful not to get hit by the other one because as soon as you counter, you will change target. The squirts, as soon as they start shaking, you can you can counter these guys. They're, they're fairly simple. But back to the multiple shot guys, as soon as you defeat them, they will you will change the target. These, those guys are fast once again and if there's still multiple shots coming your way you will get hit and that counts as one hit per ball so you want to be careful with those now we're up on the last guy here the last one you can counter this guy to death I would not recommend it you want him to go off the side like that and there you go Kid pulls it off. No, no, I didn't. That took me forever. Uh, multiple attempts. Uh, for that, though, hey, that's the seventh, uh, seventh proving ground that we've done, so I get the dynasty for that. All right, let's poke these. For that one, you get 252. Let's wait for that to go away so we can get an accurate assessment of what we are getting. That's for third prize. I don't know why it's 252, but that's what you get. For this one, you only get 251, which is weird. I don't have any shrines on or, or, or idols on or anything like that, so I don't know why it's 251 and 252. And for this one, you get 2,502. So I assume it's supposed to be 250, 250, 2,500, but for whatever reason, there's a, there's a little discrepancy there. Let's head back. What do you have to say about my use of the shield? There's a hint of pride in his eye when he gets back. And more than a hint in mine. Damn right, I'm a little proud. That one, for whatever reason, that one gives me difficulty. That and the the hammer. Everything else I should be fine on. Oh, that's a memorial. Last one. The Five thousand. To the families of the city, all reunited. You get five thousand more. God, I have so many fragments. So, so too many. Too damn many. Okay, next up we do have the brushers pike now this is once again one of my normal weapons so I have this upgrade pretty much the way that I use it against enemies I have a critical hit chance critical hit damage instead of faster throw reload and thrust attacks causing knockback faster thrust attacks that I think is vital throw attacks can stun yeah that's not very good faster throw reload no 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 more damage and attacks ignore armor instead of one spear per throw once again I assume that the the spears will spread I haven't actually tried that with the spear but with the uh, the pike I should say but I assume that it would work that way as well so let's head to the brushers pike proving ground where is it there it is Camp Dauncey over there is Camp Dauncey 
where the brushers steeled themselves for secret missions. This one can be a little difficult, but with a fully upgraded pike, I should be able to do it. To prepare for the wilds, Ceylonia's brushers practice at Camp Donce. Had to navigate a maze of pin cushions with nothing but a pike. The brushers were Ceylonia's field agents, and their training was harsh. Okay, let's try this again. So, brushers pike, go to the left. This time I'm going to try not to take as much damage. Head through the middle here. Hit that one. You had to find a path with maze as quick as you could. There we go. Hit this one. God, I am swinging and missing too much. That's pro probably my biggest problem right here. Okay, and around this one, hit that. Okay, now we're gonna go up and to the left here. Now to the right first. Take on this one. One well-placed throw could take out several of those ugly critters. I don't like to throw here. I have found no use in throwing, to be honest with you. And there we go. There's one, and then the other one is up here. Nothing more in our way. A few seconds to spare. Camp Dancy can get you promoted to captain on the spot. So a little trouble with that the first time, but that was just me being stupid. So let's get our prizes. Something pointy for third prize, something nasty for second prize, and brusher sweep for first. I will take it. Aren't you happy for me, Rux? The wilds ain't so scary now, are they? They haven't been in quite some time. <laughs> Do you see how many fragments I have? Let's head back to the, to the forge. Let's see what I can get here. Uh, next up, we do have the army carbine. Instead of ca causing knockback, I go ahead and go for speed while aiming. Instead of damage, I go for aiming speed. Yeah, definitely. I need to speed that up. Plus 10% critical hit chance now. Faster reload. And I go for damage instead of more aiming speed. I figured I'd balance it out, to be honest with you. Bullets cause area damage? No. Bullets ignore armor. Once again, if you can't ignore armor, do so. Always better to do that. Let's go ahead and head to the Army Carbine, which is here, Trigger Hill. That's Trigger Hill, where the Army's elite became the finest marksman in the land. Let's go ahead and head inside. This one I don't remember having too much difficulty with, to be honest with you. Ceylonia's army only took the best, and the best of them trained on Trigger Hill. The Triggers believed they were nothing without their rifles. I'm trying to think of a Full Metal Jacket reference, but this one's simple enough. Uh, with my aiming speed, I can actually miss a couple times and still get first prize. Nothing beats the feel of shooting a Ceylonian army carbine. You want to hit the targets, don't hit the flowers. Sometimes you have to take care to steady your shot. The triggers had clearance to modify their guns however they chose. Ah, crap. Some felt the course was too easy, so the triggers spiced things up. Ah, jeez. Come on. I don't need to heal. There we go. That course like it was nothing. Does it look like I need to heal? Well, actually it does, but that's not the point. Give me something fancy for third prize, something coarse for second, and trigger blitz for first. Like I said, with the way that I have that set up, you can miss a few times. Almost uh, yeah, everything dies with one shot, so just feel free to aim and shoot all you please. I believe it's 30 seconds for first prize. Could be a little bit more. Let's go ahead and head back. That was simple enough. The Ceylonian army would have recruited him in a flash. I'd be general by now, and you know it. So it's time to move on to the Galleon Mortar. Now this one, I must say, the way after you have this fully upgraded is is pretty damn easy. Probably 
just as easy as the scrap musket one. Uh, plus 25% blast radius instead of faster reload. Faster reload's not going to help you any bit in this proving ground. Aiming speed, that's just a personal preference. It just goes way too slow for me instead of critical hit chance. Not that you need that for the proving ground anyway. You're fighting squirts with a mortar. Uh, blast radius, once again, will help instead of damage. Once again, squirts. 100% power shot damage? No. 15% critical hit, hit chance. I'm not a, not very good with the, the mortar in, in, in terms of power shots, so I avoid that. And bombs create damage field instead of immunity to bomb damage. I won't be hitting myself with this one. Not this time. Not this time. So let's head off to the mortar proving ground, which was right there. Boundless Bay. Boundless Bay used to be a weapons test and dry dock. Ain't never been this dry, though. All right, let's head to Boundless Bay, then. Like I said, this one's pretty easy. Ceylandia's armada was a glorious sight, and our ship's mortars were unstoppable. At Boundless Bay, our navy put those mortars through a rigorous inspection. To be honest, without even trying too much, I should be able to get all the squirts. Had to use squirts to simulate explosive impact on the surface of the sea. Choosing targets with those mortars was one of the trickiest parts. And that's why. And look at him go right over the damage fields. And then I'll aim here. Boom. That would be all the squirts in three shots. I think I got two more to waste here. You could almost see the fireworks over Boundless Bay. I don't think you even need to kill all the squirts. Like I said, this is this is very easy of a proof of ground when you have it fully upgraded like I do. So for this, let's grab something burnt for third prize, something heavy for second, and bomb barrage for first. Simple enough. Which means there's just one left after this. Good thing we got to that mortar before the beasts of the wild learned how to use it. And I'm not looking forward to this last one. Why? Well, the Let's Play kind of shows you why. For this one, the last one. No, no, we got one more. We got one more. We'll get to you yet. We'll get to you. This next one is the Fire Bellows. Fire Bellows, uh, when you're upgrade, is still kind of difficult, but, you know, you can manage it. Uh, I go for plus 20% fuel generation instead of the flames spreading wider. Flames cause lasting burn instead of plus one damage per flame. I'm not sure which one of these is better in the long run, but this is the one that I chose. 20% fuel generation again instead of crippling the foes. I, I haven't really found a good use for that one. Uh, it might help since it causes a lasting burn and it will freeze them in place, but to be honest, I'm killing them rather quickly no matter what. Plus 25% attack speed instead of damage resistance when firing. Uh, pretty much don't, don't get hit. As long as you keep on casting fire, you shouldn't get hit too much here. Move faster while attacking. This is probably the most important thing if you want to beat this proving ground. In first, pl first place on this proving ground, I should say. You got to be fast, and this is pretty much how you do it. Instead of large attack range increase, and you can't move. No, I'd rather move faster. That's the way that I like to go. Let's head over there and kill us some P.E.K.K.A.s. They're all in my face. Grady Incinerator. Grady Incinerator is where we sent off all our trash to be burned or be eaten by the wild. Let's go and kill me some Pekkas. Never been a fan of them. Welcome to Grady Incinerator, home of the hottest wings east of Ceylandia. Oh, In all seriousness, the incinerator was a dump, and it had a problem with Peckers. Yeah, it does. This place is infiltrated. All right, fry peckers before time expires. You gotta go fast here, too. Last the things would swoop in and spread trash all around until we started using fire. We couldn't just torch them all at once. We had to use restraint. Roll, roll, roll. That's the best advice I can give you here. Damn it, get over here and die. And there you go. With about five seconds to spare. Wasn't any other way to teach those peckers some respect. Boom. Done. 
I said that one, it, it does require the upgrades, I'll be honest with you. This one I couldn't get done until I got that last upgrade, and then it became relatively simple for me. For this, you get something foul for third, pri third prize, something sharp for second, and ring of fire for first. Fall into it. I think I already made that joke. Either way, Johnny Cash. Who knows why we fought so hard to defend our own trash. Well, I defended Zia this whole time. Oh, snap, Zia, I called you trash. How do you feel about that? Probably not too good. Okay, last one. This one gave me a hell of a time without any upgrades to to the cannon when I went to the Proving Ground in the, in the Let's Play, and I couldn't even get third prize. I couldn't. I tried. Like three or four times, I couldn't even get third prize. Can I do it this time? I'll have to see. How I have upgraded it this time. Rockets will not launch automatically. I like this. I like this a lot. Instead of causing knockback. Knockback's probably not going to help me anything here because as soon as I hit something, it should die. Plus 25% charge up speed. That is vital, I feel. Instead of the blast radius, uh, I, I want at least one charge up speed increase. Plus 35% reload speed instead of more damage once again I'm already one shot and everything plus 20% blast radius instead of charge up speed once I'm balancing these out to be honest with you I need both of those and then rockets seek out foes I feel that is vital as well instead of damage fields no no no, no. let's make sure I don't miss I think that's the more important thing here because my aim with this thing is not very good. All right, let's head to Mansur Observatory. Mansur Observatory. Now there's a sneaky place. Overlooking the Tazzle terminals themselves. That doesn't tell me much about this place at all. Let's head to the observatory, though. The Ura probably didn't know they were being watched from Mansur Observatory. It was the perfect spot to test something no one's meant to know about. Now, one of the problems that I had with this place is you s actually saw the little loading screen message there. They flat out lie to you. They tell you to stay close to these things. That is the last thing you want to do. I'm going to head all the way out here and stand here. Look how much room I can see here. When I'm here, how much time... Like, I can barely see anything. The guy can be right here before I see him, and then if I hit him over here, that's going to blow this thing up. They're giving you bad advice on the loading screen. So, what you want to do is grab it and head out here. Something about the place drove the windbags crazy. And just fire at him as soon as you see him. In fact, fire even when you don't see him. Hopefully the rocket will do the work for you. Like I said, more important that, that I that don't miss. Used to. Got a pointer in the right direction. See, I'm still hitting stuff, and it's not even on the screen yet. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you head this way. Oh, they're starting to spawn in the middle. Blast radius should help with a lot of these guys. How did that miss? Whatever gets in their way is in the world of hurt, but she ain't the fastest thing. That's fine. As long as I can kill them all. Ow! What did I say about missing? And how important that was to me that I don't miss. And then you go ahead and pull this shit anyway. It feels like it's going like right between three of them. I don't care if I get hit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, we got it just in time. Okay, I was scared there for a second, and there's the last one. Boom, well, that perfect. Experiment was a rousing success. That wasn't my best run of it, but I got first prize, and that's all that really matters. For third prize for this one, you do get something wrong. For second prize, you get something burnt. And for third prize, you get Calamity Rockets. And that is the last and final and ultimate and last proving ground. If only the Mansers could have seen the kid playing around with their favorite toy. And that's going to do it for 
Let's play Bastion. I've been Bala Scuba. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play as much as I enjoyed making it. Hope you guys laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.